Hello peoples, it's I, Potato Pikachu, and today I'm going to make a beginner's guide to investing in CSGO. Now, this guide is going to be based on my experiences in investing in CSGO, and it's probably similar to most people that do invest in a game as well, so take that as you will. And also, I hope that you guys do your own research when looking to invest in items as well, and make sure not to follow investing tips online blindly, as that can be your downfall. So I hope you guys find some useful information in this video and can use it to your advantage. So let's get right into the video. The first area I'll talk about is cases. Now cases are practically synonymous with CSGO itself because you open them to get skins and everyone knows what cases are. So cases are a very safe investment and can net you a lot of money. But the catch of this is that investing in cases is a long-term goal that requires you to be patient and hold on to the cases and it's also recommended to invest in large quantities of cases to see some actual profit, as only a few cases won't mean too much. But before you decide to immediately choose any of the cases available on the market, what you should know first is that there are two cases in two categories. The first category is the active drop pool. What this means is that the cases in this category will be regularly dropped throughout your gaming session and will continue to increase in quantity. Therefore, as the quantity increases, the price of the case will be at its lowest point and will continue to stay at the low price for the foreseeable future. And the second category is the rare drop pool, which means that the cases in this category are less likely to drop in-game, meaning that as time goes on, more people will purchase the case in the rare drop pool category and the quantity of these set cases will slowly decrease because the drops of the cases in-game will be significantly less than the cases in the active drop pool. Some examples of cases in the active drop pool are the Prisma 2 case, the CS20 case, the Danger Zone case, and a Horizon case. Some cases in the rare drop pool are the Shattered Web case, the Operation Hydra case, the Chroma case, and the Glove case. So if you want to invest in cases, then I would suggest you find some cases in the rare drop pool that are relatively cheap and have a couple of standout skins in the case itself because that would mean that people would actually want to buy the case itself and will continue to purchase it as time goes on. The second area I'll talk about are stickers. Stickers are very popular in CSGO with some of them even going for over $1,000 each. A lot of cool crafts can be made with stickers that make your skin stand out from the rest. So a lot of people like to purchase stickers to customize their skins. If you want to invest in stickers, there are a few different categories of stickers that you can purchase from. One category is a CSGO store itself where Valve leaves a bunch of different sticker capsules for any player to buy. The problem with this is that if you want to invest in these stickers, you will most likely lose money. From the looks of it, Valve has no intention to remove the feature of purchasing older capsules from the store, so all the capsules available on the CSGO store are investment duds because Valve are just leaving it there for anyone to buy, so the quantity will just stay the same. The next category is the operation stickers. I believe that this is a fairly new feature implemented by Valve as only the most recent operation, Operation Shadow Web, has unique stickers. These stickers will no longer drop in game because the Shadow Web operation finished. This means that the stickers were exclusive to the operation itself and most likely Valve will keep it that way. Since they are exclusive to the operation and the operation has long since been done, these stickers will rise in price and be a great investment. The third category is the major sticker capsules. These capsules include all the player signatures and the team logos that attend the CSGO Major. A lot of people are investing in the major sticker capsules as shown by the most recent major Berlin 2019. But even though many people invested in that major, there were a few standout stickers and capsules that proved to be profitable, such as the Berlin 2019 Legend Autograph Capsule, the Berlin 2019 Returning Challengers Autograph Capsule, and the Zaiwu and Simple stickers as they were some of the most prominent figures in the CSGO major itself. So even though a lot of people do invest in the major capsules, investing in these tournament capsules are safe investments and will net you a profit, but you will just have to wait and be patient to see some actual results. And I know that there are still some other categories of stickers to talk about, but since this is for people starting out, I believe that this is more than enough information regarding investing in stickers. The last area I'll talk about are the skins. Skins are a huge part of CSGO as a lot of people love to purchase skins just for the sake of looks. That's the purpose of skins. There are people that even collect skins just for the sake of having the best or having a unique loadout. Now, not all skins are good investments because there are some skins that just look better or are older than other skins. One thing you should not do is to invest in skins that from the most recent cases. 
If the case is in high quantity and is still in the active drop pool, then chances are the skins in those cases won't be rising in price anytime soon. They could even go down in price as more and more are unboxed. For skins, I would recommend investing in skins from older collections because those old collections are very rare and have a limited quantity to them. Skins like the AK Fire Serpent, the Op Lightning Strike, the Op Graphite, the AK Redline, the Op Asimov, the M4A4 Asimov are great investments because they are all older skins and look good as well. Another thing you might have noticed is that all the skins I mentioned are used on guns most players commonly use. The AK-47, the AWP, and the M4 are all guns that are staples to the game and people commonly use these guns. So it is only fact that these skins will have a certain demand to it that won't fade away and will increase in price as time goes on. Also, I would like to mention that I personally invested in some of the skins mentioned, so there is a certain amount of bias to it, so take that into consideration. And there are still a multitude of older skins that I haven't mentioned that are great investments, so do your own research. And also, I haven't gone too in-depth regarding skins, but for now, what I would recommend based on my own experience is to invest in the older skins that look good, as that will guarantee you a profit over time, as there will be a less quantity of it, and more people will start to look at the older skins and maybe want to purchase one of yours that you invested. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was mainly for people that are new to investing but this can still be applied to people that are currently investing as well so this video is basically for everyone and i do hope that you found some useful information out of this video as this was based on a lot of my experience investing in csgo and maybe you found something useful that you could use for investing as well so once again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this please leave a comment subscribe like the video as well I'm a potato and a Pikachu, potato Pikachu, signing out. Peace.